and his perspective has changed. Sabi niya, Lord, you are in control. You know all the jobs in New York City. You know all the establishments in New York City. And it is because of that story that he was able to be sustained for seven years. That's why he is a model of a heart that knows how to give thanks. And if we are filled with thanksgiving, those of you who are taking the auto buses, maybe one hour, one year, uh, one hour, or two hours, or two hours, or the show, going to Jerusalem. One time, when I was in Bible college, we were in Project 4, the Bible school was in Project 4, Quezon City, our residence was in Santa Mesa, and during that time, when I was in traffic, traffic, so in 30 minutes, I took some behind. And so, one time, one afternoon, I decided uh, for the next 30 minutes, I will give thanks to the Lord for things that will come into my mind. In about five minutes, I was in In five minutes of giving thanks, I already ran out of things to give thanks for because you have a limited vocabulary. Hallelujah! Thank you, Lord! Oh, hallelujah! Thank you, Lord! Praise God! Oh, hallelujah! You know, very limited. And then I began to see the birds. Lord, thank you for the birds. I began to see the tree. Lord, thank you for the trees. I began to see the people. Thank you for the people. I began to see this. So thank you, Lord, for that. The bus, thank you, Lord. The makatamino, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah! So, you know, until the end of my trip for 30 minutes, when you see all around you that these are given by the Lord, created by Him, and you begin to thank the Lord for all of this, then maybe nothing will be changed, but you will be changed. Amen. Your heart will be changed. Amen. Amen. <laughs> but if you would say, oh, thank you Lord, thank you Lord, thank you Lord for my shelter, thank you Lord for my shelter, thank you Lord for my shelter. Your perspective will change. Your heart will change. And the positive outlook will be you. That will be a beautiful life. Amen? Amen. Why would we waste a day by worrying, by being resentful, by being this, by being that, when we can thank God who is in control? Glory to God. And number three, it says there, with songs, with spiritual hymns, we thank God with all our hearts. How to give thanks? We give thanks through our worship, through our praise, through the words. And beloved, the best thing that we could express our thanksgiving is through our lives that have been changed through our lives which are beautiful, powerful testimonies of what the Lord has done. And so when Paul commanded us, God commanded us to be the apostle Paul, be ye thankful. God is serious. And we will never be in shortage of items to thank the Lord for. Sabihin sa inyo, sabi, tell the one next to you, I thank God for you. I thank God. Amen? I thank God for you. That was very beautiful. I did not understand everything the way the Africans worship, you know. Medyo, it's very tiring for somebody like me. 
I was in a big church at the beginning of the world I guess. I was a speaker of the it's the Holy Spirit probably of the RCCG. And I was a speaker on a Thursday night. One million people, the first time that I spoke. One million people. When I spoke about 10 o'clock, the worship began at about 6 o'clock. <laughs> Because, yeah, I like, I, I, I like, I love the physical thing because I believe that you cannot worship through me. <laughs> it's a physical thing, you know? <laughs> but for somebody like me, I'm like, go so strong. Our son, Josh, was a pastor. And uh, he leads two worship services. And you know, these are young professionals, sometimes young people. And so, you know, ah, ah, so, what way? Jesus! <laughs> sometimes when I go there, that's too soft. <laughs> we are never in shortage. Everybody say, no shortage no of things to thank God for. So tell somebody, be ye thankful. Be ye thankful. Be ye thankful. Be ye thankful. Amen. 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 Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Let's bow our heads. Close our eyes. Glory to Jesus. As I was saying a while ago, the only ones, the only people who can truly experience God in their life. Those who have received the assurance of salvation that God has given in Christ Jesus. That is the most important thing that God wants His people, His creation to have. And beloved friend, if you are here tonight and you do not know Honestly, you do not know that you have been saved. You have no assurance of this salvation. You have no assurance of this life, eternal life, new life for you alone. If you have no assurance that Jesus is now living in your heart tonight, open your heart to Jesus. He is here, and He is alive. He wants to come on the earth. He wants to forgive your sins. He wants to give you eternal life. If you are here, and you have not done this, I urge you, open your heart, pray. Pray this prayer with me, a simple prayer. Make it as your personal prayer. It is a prayer not to receive a religion, not to receive a church, but to receive the person of the Lord Jesus Christ, who came 2,000 years ago and died for you and me because of our sins. Pray this prayer with me whatever you want. So that I will know that people will follow me in this prayer. Just raise your hand. When you raise your hand, you are saying, Bishop Joby, I am opening my heart to Jesus tonight. Just raise your hand. You if you are That you are opening your heart to Jesus. Just raise your hand. If you have not done this yet, this is the first time that you are doing it. Just raise your hand. And follow me in this prayer. Wherever you are, I just follow me in this prayer. Glory to Jesus. I come to you tonight. You are my sins. Forgive me. Make me clean. Wash away my sins. I 